you know, just for sake of change, I thought I'll share a piece of software with you that I use on a daily basis that I think you will really benefit from. It is a free software which you can download on your Windows PC and your Android phone and have essentially the same features as an iPhone would have with a MacBook. You know, the main reason why many people cannot switch from macOS and iOS over to Windows side uh, is because of something called AirDrop. It's a software that ensures like seamless communication between a macOS and iOS device without having to deal with any uh, confusing communication or uh, connectivity issues like we deal with Share It and stuff. So of course when Apple makes something there will be counterparts for it. So somebody made an AirDrop for Android and named it as AirDroid. So yeah, it works decently well, but it has a lot more features than AirDrop. This AirDroid is a, a pretty dope software actually. It has many features which uh, you don't really expect to see in a free software. It has many features like uh, screen mirroring, remote control, and notification mirroring and lot more without even having to upgrade it. Setting this up is really simple. You simply download the uh, AirDroid app on your Android phone and get the same application on your uh, PC. Once that is done, you simply connect to a common network and uh, launch the applications together. You do need to create an account to link these devices together but once that is done uh, you don't have to do anything else uh, the software automatically picks up your phone and it connects to it it also works on hotspot mode like if you don't have a common wi-fi router which your phone and laptop both can connect to you can still turn on the uh, wi-fi hotspot on your phone and have your laptop connect to it you can still use AirDroid pretty similarly but um, you can't use it to its full potential like uh, it works on a cloud basis you will have to upload and download files from the cloud uh, while sharing between the two devices on hotspot mode and you will have to upgrade if you want to share more than a certain amount of data per week but data sharing is not the only uh, plus point of this there's another feature which i think is not really found on any other software as seamlessly as here and that is clipboard copying suppose you're typing something on your phone and you copied it to your phone's clipboard you can transfer the exact same data to the computer's clipboard i'm not talking about sending over the text file i'm talking about sending the clipboard data to the computer's clipboard. So when you press Ctrl V here, the exact same thing which you copied on your phone gets pasted on um, whichever app that you're using on your PC. That's so dope. Like I use it all the time when I'm copying over my articles or some pointers which I made for my videos and stuff. It's really useful. And of course it works the other way around as well. You can transfer stuff from your uh, PC's clipboard all the way to your phone. If you are copying over URLs and things, it's really useful. By far the most useful feature about uh, AirDroid and the main reason why I have got it in the first place is the remote control. You can remotely control your phone screen once you have connected it to AirDroid over the same network that you have connected it. You simply click on remote control and you are met with this screen. It requires root access to uh, have a remote control feature on it but uh, even if your phone is not rooted, you can still go into the non-root settings which uses USB debugging on your phone to get temporary access to it. You will have to do this every single time you connect to it, meaning that if you close AirDroid, when you open it, you will have to connect your phone with USB once again. But it only takes a few seconds, so um, that shouldn't be much of a deal, because once the non-root functionality has been connected, it bypasses the uh, root access with the Android debug bridge through your USB cable, and it will have access to everything just like a rooted phone would. Bear in mind that you need to have USB debugging enabled for this. Uh, you can just go into developer settings and have USB debugging enabled, just click OK on the error message because error messages, they're for It's really great. It mimics whatever is on your screen and you can even control it with your mouse. I use it all the time as a secondary monitor when I'm recording my videos. Like I use the rear cameras on my phone so I can't really see what's going on on the screen. I use this as my secondary screen to uh, make sure that the focus is on point and uh, to control the exposure, pause the video and stuff like that. If you don't like remote control, then that's fine. You can still go into view only mode, meaning that your phone screen will be mirrored as it is onto your PC. So if you want to show something to someone else or maybe you want to view something on a bigger screen for a while, then you can do that. There's also this weird feature where you can use your computer's keyboard to type on your phone, but I don't even know why it's there because Notification mirroring is enabled and all your phone's notifications will be mirrored here. Meaning that any SMS or WhatsApp message that you get, you will be able to reply to it directly from here. So I'm not sure why would you use your computer's keyboard on your phone unless you are purposefully typing something on your phone using your computer's keyboard like an idiot. And there is this remote camera feature which seems to work sometimes but now it requires upgrade. 
You can use your phone as a remote camera with this application as well. But it seems like it requires an upgrade now. I do recall this being free a couple of months ago, but uh, when I checked it uh, yesterday, it said it requires an upgrade. The thing is, it's kind of creepy. The camera interface doesn't come up on the phone, but the camera will be on and it will be broadcasting the signals to your PC, meaning that you can still see what the camera is seeing, but the phone screen won't be showing anything. So it's kind of more of a hidden camera, spy camera situation than a remote camera. And giving a creepy feature like that for free... <coughs> Giving a creepy feature like that for free wasn't really a good idea and maybe that's why they uh, made it mandatory for an upgrade. Uh, well, there are other features here like the screen recording feature and uh, mirroring your call logs and contacts, but you'll have to give special permissions on your phone for the app to be able to access it. I don't really see what's the uh, big deal about this, it'll just give you a notification when you're getting a call. Um, I think the notification mirroring is uh, enough of an access for this application because uh, you will be getting a lot of notifications, you may not be getting as many calls. That's one of the things you don't have to worry about when you don't have any friends. But overall this app is uh, really useful. I use it all the time to transfer files, uh, even if it's a tiny file, uh, instead of looking for a USB cable, uh, you can directly send it over with AirDroid. It works instantly, or at least most of the time. Sometimes the transfer fails uh, in your first attempt but you just click on the resend button and it will work. It's not the most elegant solution and uh, by no means is it as good as airdrop, but at least we have some free alternative to it uh, instead of just switching over to macOS. And yes, you can connect multiple devices to it and switch between them, so yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward, you'll get used to it. And that's about it. Uh, just a quick useful uh, piece of information that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you found it useful. Uh, you can uh, check out this application uh, from their website. I can I can leave a link in the description if you want to. Check out my blog and my other channel for uh, more techie content like this. I am pushing out a lot more content than before now that I have two channels. But um, I am enjoying it and I hope you come along with me for the ride. Take it easy and I will see you soon.